We'll add one day to our calendar in 2020 because it's a leap year, but why exactly? Well, let's start with the basics. A year is defined as one trip around the sun, and that's 365 days, right? Wrong. One revolution actually takes 365 and a quarter days. Do the math and you'll find it takes 5.8 hours more than a calendar year for the Earth to go completely around the sun. Now, over time, that would add up. In fact, if we did away with leap days 100 years from now, our calendar would be off by 24 days. So we add one full day to the calendar every four years. Problem solved, right? Not quite, because 365 and a quarter is not quite 365.24. Even that little difference adds up to an error of about 11 minutes every year. And in 100 years, that would mean our calendar would be off 18 hours. It's better, but still too much of an error in the long run. That's where leap year hopscotch comes in. At the beginning of each century, leap day is skipped to bring the calendar back into alignment except in centuries divisible by 400, like 2000 was. Even with that crazy rule, the calendar still doesn't quite match the Earth's revolution, but it's close enough. It would take over three millennia before our calendar is one day off. And at that point, that's somebody else's problem.